Lumina was unlike any other town. Nestled between ancient forests and moon-kissed meadows, it existed in perpetual twilight. The sun rarely graced its cobblestone streets, and the moon reigned supreme. The townspeople whispered that Lumina was the moonlight town, forever bathed in lunar glow. Stars danced above its rooftops, and the air hummed with secrets. It was said that the moon loved this town. It bathed Lumina in silvery radiance, turning every stone into a gem, every puddle into a mirror. Children grew up tracing moon phases on their windowsills, and elders told tales of lunar guardians who walked the streets at midnight. Stepping into Lumina wasn't just entering a town. It was stepping into a portal of self-discovery. The moon's gentle influence, the whispers of hidden secrets, and the dreamscapes painted across the night sky, all conspired to nudge you towards your truest self. Here, doubts melted away, replaced by the courage to chase your wildest aspirations. But the challenge is that you can't physically find Lumina on a map. It's not a place you stumble upon, but a place that finds you. If you're lost and searching for comfort, if you're an artist yearning for inspiration, or a dreamer daring to believe in the power of assumption, then Lumina will appear. Think of it like a firefly's glow in the night forest, hidden yet beckoning. Maybe it shimmers in the reflection of a moonlit lake, or whispers from deep within an ancient, moonlit forest. Just close your eyes, listen to the whispers of your heart's desires, and if you truly believe, Lumina might just welcome you into its moonlit embrace. At the heart of Lumina stands the Library of Assumptions. Its architecture defies convention. Spires spiral toward the sky like enchanted vines, and stained glass windows depict dreams taking flight. The library's shelves hold books that whisper to those who listen. Ancient scrolls, inked in silver, reveal forgotten wisdom. Visitors claimed that the library rearranged itself, guiding seekers to the knowledge they needed most. The library was a beacon for dreamers, seekers, and those weary of mundane existence. It drew artists, philosophers, and lost souls. Alara, the librarian of the Library of Assumptions, wasn't like anyone else in Lumina. Her cloak shimmered with moonlight, and her eyes, deep as starry nights, seemed to hold secrets older than time itself. Nobody knew for sure where she came from, but whispers followed her like stardust on the wind. Some said she arrived with the first moonbeam, drawn by the library's magic. Others believed she was born from its stories, spun from forgotten truths and ancient dreams. Alara knew things others didn't. She could see potential futures shimmering in the air, like whispers waiting to be heard. Maybe she learned these secrets in a faraway land where magic painted the sky, or maybe she walked alongside the very first dreamers, collecting their wisdom before time even had a name. Why she chose the library as her home was another mystery. Perhaps it was the echo of countless dreams within its walls, or maybe she held the key to unlocking its deepest magic, the power to change lives through the simple act of believing. Whatever the reason, Alara understood a truth hidden to most. Our deepest wishes, in spoken and assumed, could weave through the world, shaping not just our lives, but the world around us. She wasn't just a keeper of stories, she was a weaver of destinies. With a knowing smile and a perfectly placed book, she'd nudge you towards your heart's desires, like a gentle breeze guiding a dandelion seed on its journey. Some folks called her strange, a teller of tall tales. But for those who dared to believe, Alara was a bridge between the ordinary and the extraordinary, a living reminder of the library's whispered promise. Dream with all your heart, and reality will bend to your will. 
When you stepped into the library of assumptions, time wove itself differently. The air thickened with possibility. Ordinary thoughts transformed into spells. Visitors emerged with newfound clarity. The baker assumed abundance and baked loaves that fed not just bodies but souls. The artist assumed recognition and painted murals that whispered to the stars. And the dreamer assumed courage, love, and success and all that came true for him. As you entered, the library whispered, Believe, dear seeker. Assume with unwavering faith. The shelves revealed your story, the one etched in stardust and moonbeams. Luminous streets shifted. They became pathways to parallel worlds. The forest whispered secrets, and the meadows hummed forgotten melodies. Alara watched from the shadows. Her eyes held galaxies, and her smile held secrets. She knew that Lumina's transformation mirrored the inner journeys of its inhabitants. Assumption was no longer a theory, it was their reality. One day, a young man named Aiden stumbled upon the library. His heart ached with unfulfilled dreams. Aiden wasn't like the other dreamers in Lumina. His heart yearned for the warmth of freshly baked bread and the joy of sharing it with others. Ever since he was a child, the aroma of his grandmother's bakery had filled his dreams, and the idea of creating his own had become his guiding star. But life hadn't been easy. Starting a bakery required more than just passion. It demanded capital, connections, and a good dose of luck. Aiden lacked all three, and the weight of doubt often threatened to extinguish his dream. One moonlit night, his footsteps, guided by a yearning he couldn't explain, led him to the library of assumptions. Inside, bathed in the silver glow emanating from Alara, the enigmatic librarian, Aiden poured out his heart. With eyes that held galaxies and a smile that whispered ancient secrets, Alara listened. The key, dear Aiden, she said, placing a worn book titled, Assume and Get Your Every Desire, in his trembling hands, lies not just in working hard, but in believing fiercely. The book became Aiden's Bible. He learned about the power of assumptions, not just as thoughts, but as spells woven into the fabric of reality. To assume success wasn't about wishful thinking. It was about radiating confidence, taking calculated risks, and seeing every obstacle as a stepping stone. Alara became his silent mentor. She guided him towards resources he hadn't considered and shared stories of successful bakers who dared to dream big. Guided by the magic of belief and Alara's wise counsel, Aiden underwent a profound change. Days were now dedicated to perfecting his art, crafting more than mere bread but happiness itself, infusing each loaf with the scent of his aspirations. With unwavering confidence, he connected with others, sharing his passion for baking in a way that was truly infectious. Challenges became chances for growth, setbacks mere diversions, and doubt nothing more than a faint voice to be hushed. Slowly, miraculously, his dream began to take shape. He managed to borrow some money, found a cozy corner in the town square, and named his bakery, Stardust Breads. With each sunrise, he'd bake, filling the air with the enticing aroma of hope and determination. As the moon painted the streets silver, he'd close his eyes, whispering his deepest desires into the night, his faith fueled by the library's magic. His dedicated work, coupled with the power of assumption, resonated. Stardust Breads became a haven, not just for delicious treats, but for warmth, laughter, and community. People were drawn to his infectious positivity and the taste of dreams baked into every bite. The aroma of possibility lingered in Lumina. Aiden's success wasn't just a personal triumph. It was a beacon, 
drawing others to the moonlit library with eyes shimmering like forgotten constellations. Alara, the ever-knowing librarian, became their guide, offering not books, but whispers of forgotten magic, the power of assuming their desires into existence. There was Isabella, the sculptor whose marble dreams remained locked in stone. Alara, sensing her frustration, gifted her a book titled, Chiseled Moonlight. Its pages spoke of moonlight sculpting figures that danced with unspoken emotions. Isabella, imbued with newfound belief, saw her chisel dance across the marble, not just shaping forms, but breathing life into them. Soon, her sculptures, infused with the essence of Lumina, held court in renowned galleries, silent testaments to her transformed spirit. Then came Kai, the writer whose stories remained trapped in the confines of his dusty notebooks. Alara, with a knowing smile, offered him a book titled, Inkwell of Stardust. Its words spoke of stories whispered by the wind, waiting to be captured on moonlit paper. Kai, his heart ignited by possibility, poured his soul onto the page, each sentence shimmering with the magic of Lumina. His tales, poignant and alive, resonated with readers worldwide, his once hidden voice now singing to the stars. But the magic wasn't limited to grand ambitions. Amelia, the timid bookstore owner, yearned to connect with her customers beyond the rustle of turning pages. Alara, her gaze twinkling with ancient wisdom, presented her with a book titled, Words Woven with Moonlight. Its pages spoke of stories building bridges, fostering connections stronger than any binding. Amelia, her shyness replaced by quiet confidence, began hosting book clubs, weaving tales that intertwined lives and created a community as warm and inviting as her bookstore. Witnessing these transformations, Aiden realized his role wasn't just to bake dreams into reality, it was to share the recipe. He started workshops, his hands and heart open, guiding others to knead their desires with unwavering belief, sprinkle their actions with gratitude, and share their success with the community. For the magic, he discovered, grew stronger with every dream fulfilled. And so, Lumina became a haven not just for dreamers, but for doers, their talents blooming under the gentle glow of the moon. The town thrummed with an energy unlike any other, a symphony of possibilities composed with the notes of belief, action, and gratitude. This, dear listeners, is the essence of Aiden's story. It's not just about his success, but about the ripple effect it created, a testament to the universal power of assumption. Like Aiden, you too can tap into this magic. Start by identifying your deepest desire. Is it a career that ignites your soul, a relationship that fills your heart, or a hidden talent waiting to be unleashed? Close your eyes, feel the emotions of your fulfilled dream, and let them become your guiding light. Remember Isabella's courage, Kai's passion, and Amelia's transformation. Each began with a spark, a belief that their desires were possible. You hold that same spark within you. Seek your own, library of assumptions, whether it's a mentor, a book, or simply the quiet whisper of your intuition. Let it guide you towards resources, opportunities, and the inner strength you possess. Remember, action is the yeast that raises the dough of your dreams. Don't wait for the stars to align. Take the first step, then another, fueled by the unwavering belief that you have the power to create your own reality. And finally, share your rising dough. As Aiden discovered, supporting others strengthens your own journey. Celebrate their successes, offer encouragement, and remember, we all rise together under the moonlit sky of possibility. So, go forth and write your own chapter in the story of Assumption.
Let Aiden's journey be your inspiration, the library your guide, and your own unwavering belief the magic ingredient that turns your dreams into the most fulfilling reality you can imagine. The power to create your own destiny lies within you. It's time to start baking.